Okay, everyone, it is the 9th of November. We are nine days in, almost in double numbers. I am not doing the maths to find out how many days we've got left. I'm just letting it go. Just letting it go. Anyway, this is a bit weird. What we're doing today is a bit weird. I recognise this, but... Okay, so what happened is I did no words yesterday. I'm just putting it out there. Did no words. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I had work. I had family. I was exhausted. But what I did do is map out... Um, this is when I turned from a pantser into a planster that I cannot say properly where you sort of, you're still winging it, but you've by now kind of got an idea in your head of where you want to go, what you want to say, and possibly the end. I've got the end in my head now. I know what happens, finally. But I spent the time, a good couple of hours, mapping it out, just getting on paper what I wanted. Um, essentially, I kind of asked myself these questions, what ideas I have, and just you just shove them down a page a page each, really, and you just go for it. Then what I actually want to happen, what do I know? I, I know they start here and I know at some point they get to this, this house and I know the end. So I know some bits. I just not necessarily know how you get there, but I know some bits. And what I want to say, what I want the overall feeling of it to, to be if that makes sense what I'm trying to get across and then I have um, the way I'm doing it is I'm trying a chapter a day so that's essentially 30 chapters or slightly less now um, so I am going to I, I basically mapped out like the last chapter because I know what's happened what must happen before a few other chapters that I wrote sort of up here of the basics of what I want to happen just like a couple of words a line each just to see what spaces I've got and then a roundabout I want this to happen then this to happen then this to happen and spaced out so I don't want to do that with the book that I'm doing because I kind of still want to it to appear in front of you as we go so I, I don't want to like you know <laughs> spoil it because you're really into it um so I'm going to do it. I'm going to pretend that I am plotting out the plot of the Karate Kid. Yes, I am. I'm so doing that. So serious spoilers for the Karate Kid. Why have you not watched the Karate Kid? Go and watch the Karate Kid. It's awesome. I watched it again recently. It's probably why I'm doing this. Um, so let's pretend I have this idea. OK, and I want it to involve martial arts. OK, so martial arts down there. I want it to have uh, teens I want it to be a teen thing in a school kind of environment that's what I'm thinking I have my character I kind of think you know a single mother just them moved recently how do you spell recently that'll do recently moved there um, so he's got no friends he's kind of kind of alone that's quite a big thing in the karate kid if it's just he's just moved there bless him and you know, and I want him to have, I want him to have some sort of mentor. Okay, it's very important that he has this mentor. Somebody who can sort of help him come out of, of what's going on and feel less alone and more like he has something. I want him to have something, something to work towards. That's what I want. Okay, so you, you would just sit here with this bit of paper. Can I spell and talk at the same time? Highly debatable. And you'd, you'd have a whole page for this and you'd just stick it everywhere. Maybe you'd have another coloured pen over some intrigue. Right, we want the bad guy. But we want bad guy? Question mark. Who is the bad guy? Ooh, if anyone's watching Cobra Kai, highly debatable. Thank you very much. It's Crease. It's just Crease. Okay, Crease is the bad guy. All right, he's a child abuser. He's a bad guy. Just putting that one out there. So getting getting political again there. <clears throat> anyway, so we, we we want different colours, different things. Maybe another colour for different characters. So we want. Do you know what? I want a love interest. I do. 
there's no love interest in my book there is sometimes in some of the things I write and sometimes there isn't it just seems to be something you have to have in in certain things but you don't always have to but for this particular idea of my karate kid I want a love interest so different get different colored pens get a whole page and just shove it on the page and see what you can start the, yeah okay I get an idea of what I want I want I really want what I want to happen right I want I want this to be uplifting my story is not going to be that uplifting just just to put that one out there but the karate kid as I have now named my my wondrous novel I want it to I want him to win he wins I don't know what he wins yet but I want him to win I want it to be okay I want it to be happy at the end okay a happy ending that's what I've decided do I know exactly what yet not necessarily um, I'm also thinking mentor I'm thinking martial arts I'm thinking tournament okay we want something if we have sort of boop, the, the a basic story arc you have our hero He's, he's moving and things are looking okay. Things are looking a little ooh. But then he meets his mentor and it's looking up and he's feeling really good. And then he meets the girl and then it's really good. And then something happens and he loses his, his drive. He loses his, his will, his, you know, belief in himself. I'm going to run out of room. But then his mentor picks him back up and there's this whole idea of the tournament. And then we get a montage. Got to have a montage. And then something happens. No, he sweat. He's so sweat that leg. But then no, ha ha, and he wins. Plot of the um Karate Kid for you there, just in case you were wondering. But essentially, we need some intrigue. We need something to happen. We need something to, in this case, physically knock our hero off his feet, so he has to pick himself back up and prove himself. I want him to prove himself to himself to his mentor, to everyone around him. So that's going to be really important. So I'm assuming tournament proves self wins, but we need that intrigue. We need something to happen. Um, sweep the leg. Seriously, go and go and put sweep the leg into YouTube. You'll thank me. Um, so there we go. We've, we've got we've got an idea forming now. We know basically what we want to happen. How does he get there? We've still got to figure that out. We know how he wants, what, what we want. we're going for a happy ending. We're going for yay and all of that. So um, what do I want to say? I want it to be uplifting. I want to say you have to work hard. Wax on, wax off, all of that. I want it to be inspirational. Can you tell I love a bit of the Karate Kid? She on L, if I can even spell it. This is what, overall, what you're trying to say with your book, what point you want to get across, what you want the reader to be left thinking and feeling, you know? Then, okay, so having gone through this, I've got some ideas in my head. I've got some ideas of my, in my head of what I want to do. Um, it's the ninth, so I've gone nine down i've already written a bit because we've got to the ninth um so okay he wins easy so we've got to have the fight and we could spread maybe the fight over a few so at some stage maybe this one or maybe this one we want that sweep we want the leg to be sweep we want want the reader to think oh no how's he going to come back from this ah he's broken his leg um so we want that we know this, we're good for that. So maybe we're at the stage, where would we be at with the Karate Kid? At like eight chapters in. I suppose he's gone to school. I suppose he's um, met Ali, who is his love interest. And he's definitely met Johnny. You, you've met Johnny. Um, so we know that at some stage we want Johnny and his friends to sort of attack him while he's on his bike and push him down a hill so we want that to happen what that needs to happen bike so we'll put but we know what that means there's a scene where they they're sort of on their bikes and he's on his bike and they kind of make him go off um that actually no that that needs to be further on because if we're following this we want you know we want this is probably him 
get in okay meeting ali so meet ali so a uh, date goes on a date with ali everything seems really good and then i'm trying to actually remember remember what order things come go in now um he gets beaten up by a load of skeletons just go watch it um so that's kind of a down what happens before that is the bike thing yes right the bike thing so everything's going okay he has met mr miyagi he's met his mentor so the mentor maybe probably has already happened we probably would have already written about that um so the bike thing is what makes him really upset and it's so adorable he's so upset and he wants to go home and mr miyagi sees that and he fixes his bike oh so fixed bike <laughs> let's just put that we're not quite sure where it is but we want to get an order and an idea of how many chapters if you're doing it in that way you want for each thing so this is his down but this also leads to his mentor agreeing to teach him karate so good bit and it's starting to go back up again and everything's going good i think the date comes after i think they flirt for a bit and it's adorable and then they go on a date and this really upsets johnny so then we've got our intrigue of he's he's is he 70 they're 17 odd aren't they you know he's a kid he can't be the bad guy as you watch cobra kai okay you'll just understand more but he is for all intents purposes but there's crease behind him so then we've got another thing to think about is the other storylines other things going on in the background you run the risk of having very like one character and everybody else is one dimensional because you you only see them johnny could be seen as very one dimensional he's the rich kid he's angry you know he's lost his girl and here comes ralph macchio taking the girl kind of thing you can't take a girl by the way we are actual people just saying but there you go i must give it i'll give it that ali's got some ali's got some something about her in that they could they could do it weirdly better in the 80s but there you go um again don't get me started but you could have him very one-dimensional he's the bad guy but actually and you see way more in cobra kai of what goes on but you see it with crease especially that well it's actually at the beginning of the karate kid 2 but they should put that in at the end of the karate kid 2 one i'm just saying um that he, he is abused he is being abused by this guy who basically tries to kill him and and he breaks his trophy and it's really heartbreaking but that's the thing and one thing okay cobra kai just saying at the end of the karate kid spoilers obviously i've already spoiled it for you but johnny takes the trophy in order to hand it to daniel okay he shows who he is in that moment and then he goes back to crease who is really cruel to him and stuff and he says you shouldn't have told me to do that he's a 17 year old kid of course he went along with it he handed daniel that trophy whether Daniel saw that because he was like being lifted up and going, hooray, but Johnny handed Daniel the trophy. Okay, serious character building moment and they have not picked up on that. Again, just putting it out there. Um, so we have our intrigue. He gets angry, he gets beaten up. This is actually probably more over here because we need this to build him. We need our montage. Beaten oh my lord my handwriting beaten up okay and then we move into he continues the data there's bullying goes on and stuff and then the tournament okay probably around here we find out about the tournament after the beating up mr miyagi takes daniel to cobra kai to talk to him and he sees the poster and he goes right he can win that good old mr miyaki i want myself a mr miyaki we should all we should all have one um right so we have the tournament and then we have our build up to the fight we have him working out we have a few things and he, he loses ali momentarily and then she comes back and he's a bit you know because she's rich and he's not and he has an issue over this then we have our fight and he wins yay um there you go ruin the karate kid for you but essentially that is what i spent a couple of hours doing yesterday and now i know i know a lot in my story what's happening i know why i know quite a few 
bits there's a few bits where I'm like well they're here and then I want them here how am I going to get there that you can fill in as you go this you can rewrite and make much much tidier um, so you know you you put the words in you you'd be more you know bike you, you'd be a bit cleaner and tidier than this you can always do these things and then redo them and and get them more the way you want but yes that is essentially how I as a plantster have started plotting things out so now I I have a good four or five um, chapters or you know 2,000 word sections that I can write and then I'm thinking oh I've got about three or four I'm thinking how do you get there I, I can't actually remember <laughs> oh dear um, and then I know what I'm doing and then there's a few more but I basically know what I'm doing now which is a much nicer feeling because I literally started thinking there's a character that will do you and oh look there's another one turned up I don't know who they are I know who they are now but anyway there you go one idea there are a billion well there's what eight billion humans now there's eight billion ways of doing this you find your way of doing it but sit down bit of paper a pen and just get all the ideas that you have down there put them on that's another good one put them all on post-it notes and then you can move things actually I want this bit to happen here and this bit to happen here that's a good way of doing it as well just to get a really good idea and sense of what you want but anyway that's me for the day I need to go and do this it's my day off I'm going to aim for a 10,000 word day to catch up because I've had three days where I really haven't done much so I need to catch up so wish me luck on that one we'll find out tomorrow won't we but anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for whatever it is bye